boys and girls, it's Mrs. Bowser again. Welcome back. I was just thinking, I know the other day I had my piggy bank with me and we were going to count coins in my piggy bank. See how much I had. Well, what if we had a dollar bill in there or more than one dollar bill? We need to see how to add dollar bills to our coins. Let's take a look. Okay, boys and girls. I think we probably should review before we begin. And remember our song that goes along with our coins. Let's start with our penny. Penny's worth one cent. So, penny, penny, easily spent. Copper, brown, and worth one cent. Okay, a penny. The nickel. Nickel, nickel, thick and fat. You're worth five cents, I know that. Dime, dime, little and thin. I remember you're worth ten. Now let's go to the quarter. I don't think I sang you this for you last time. Quarter, quarter, big and bold. You're worth 25, I'm told. All right, good job, boys and girls. And one more, the dollar bill. I don't really have the song for the dollar bill, so I bet we could go on YouTube and find one. But right now, the dollar bill is worth 100 cents. 100 pennies. And it's called one dollar. Do you see the dollar sign? It's a little different than the set, set, set signs, but this is one dollar. Now, if we are going to add, remember what we said before? Start with the largest amount to the least. Well, now our largest amount is a dollar bill. So we know one dollar bill is worth a hundred cents or one dollar. All right. And one more thing we did learn this week is we need to put the coins in order from largest to least. So our largest is 25 cents. Here's a quarter. We better put that right there. That's the largest coin. And then followed by what? Good job, boys and girls, a dime. So let's put all the dimes together. Oh, look at all the dimes. Then what? The nickel. The nickel worth five cents would go next. And last but not least, our penny. All right, now we're ready to add. Are you ready, boys and girls? Let's do this together. One dollar, one dollar. Now we're going to add the quarter so we know it's one dollar and 25 cents. Now we're done with quarters, we're going to add a dime. 25 plus 10 more is 35. One dollar and 35 cents. A dollar 45 cents. A dollar 55 cents. All right. Now we're going on to the nickel. The nickel is worth five cents. So one dollar. 60 cents. Another nickel would be a dollar sixty five. A dollar seventy. A dollar seventy. Whoops, seventy five. And now our pennies one dollar seventy six and one dollar seventy seven. So our total for all this money is $1.77. Are you ready to try again? Let's do another one. 
All right, let's erase. I'm gonna make it more difficult. I'm gonna add some more coins. So remember, and maybe, oh, I think I'll add some more dollar bills. Here we go, here's another one. Hmm, let's add another quarter, I think. And how about if I take away a dime and add another nickel, followed by a few more pennies. Oh my, do you think you can do this? I know you can. So we have how many dollar bills? One, two, two dollars. Let me put this down. Two dollars. All right, let's add our coins now. Two dollars, so let's add 25. And we know 25 plus 25 is, that's right, 50 cents. Good job. You also know that four quarters equal a dollar. So 50, 60 for the dime, 70, a nickel, 75, 80, 85 cents, 90 cents, 95 cents, 96 cents, 97 cents, 98 cents, 99 cents. Okay, boys and girls, let's write this number sentence down at the bottom. Two dollars plus 90 Nine cents equals two dollars and ninety nine cents. Good job, boys and girls. Wow, now I think it would be fun if you asked your parents or if you have your own money, go grab some money, use some dollar bills, use some coins, and add it all up. Practice. That would be fun because you're always going to use money. The rest of your life, you're going to need money. And this is a perfect time to practice. So have fun. See you next time. Two thumbs up. Good job, boys and girls.